Hi guys, Mike here and this is the video review for the ASUS G55. We have it right here, it is the new gaming laptop from ASUS, it's coming with a 15.6 inch screen, up to date hardware and a couple of extra features, improvements from the previous generation. So let's have a look at this video review and don't forget, if you like what we're doing here, like this post and share it to your friends. Thanks. Alright, we have the G55 right here. And we're going to have a quick look at the exterior first. You probably notice that it's the same uh, rogue uh, characteristic design with these aggressive lines with uh, the mate exterior in uh, this uh, black plastic. Overall it looks good and uh, there are some changes over the previous generation. For instance, if you're going to compare it with the G53, you're going to notice that the screen's hinge has been redesigned there are two and smaller uh, they were also included on the g54 but uh, the back it's now changed so these cooling grills on the back they're not uh, as massive as they were before and they have been slightly redesigned overall the laptop is still heavy about four kilograms and it's still massive about five centimeters in thickness uh, around here on the back uh, but uh, I'd say it's okay considering this is a gaming laptop so it's not really something you're going to carry around with you uh, like I said made plastic on top it looks very good it feels good but it will catch smudges in time and on the bottom you got the same uh, plastic although it's not as soft as the one on the back and in here you can access the hard drive and the memory have two screws it's going to be quite easy to pop it uh, open and around here on the back there is this the battery easy to remove a 74 watt hour battery and about the battery life we're going to talk a little bit later now let's have a quick look on the sides and see what we get on this machine and on this part you have a Kensington lock two USB 3.0 slots, microphone, headphone and of course you have a optical unit, in our case a Blu-ray reader. On the front there is there are actually the status LEDs here and there is the card reader here on the front as well. And on this other side nothing on this part which is cool because you're going to uh, have more space for your mouse and next to it you have two USBs you have HDMI HDMI port you have a Thunderbolt port you have next to it the VGA output LAN adapter and PSU here on the back and on the uh, on the back part no ports at all, just the cooling grids and this nice design elements. Okay, so that's pretty much all with the exterior. Now let's go ahead and see what we get inside. First of all, this is uh, the G55 that comes with the glossy screen. So we have a 15.6 inch display, but it is glossy and you're probably going to see me in there. Um, it comes with standard resolution only 1366 by 768 but we're going to talk about it later you have the camera on top and there is the 3d sign because this is a 3d screen comes with this new glasses from nvidia included in the bundle you have the asus logo and overall the entire bezel is made and it's looking quite nice now let's focus a little bit on the keyboard it's a very nice keyboard, chiclet keyboard. Uh, it has properly sized uh, keys that you're going to use a lot. For instance, this, the shift, the control. It's not very noisy, even the space is all right. And there's plenty of travel. So I'd say overall a very good keyboard. It's also backlit and you can adjust the backlighting uh, leveling. Uh, like with all the other keyboards, you have this shortcuts that will allow you to adjust the backlight of the keyboard there is a little bit of bleeding and I'm going to turn it on so you can see this so this is the backlighting it's uh, actually bluish uh, white although on this camera I might see a little bit more bluish than uh, than it should so overall a little bit of back uh, of bleeding when you're watching the keyboard from this angle but it's going to be quite good 
uh, one more thing the arrow keys are slightly emphasized and uh, evidentiated from the rest of the keys which once again it's going to be very nice but uh, they're not uh, as big as the keys over here you're going to notice that they're slightly taller and a little bit narrower now let's focus on this trackpad plenty of size it's a fairly big trackpad not as big as the one we have on the N56 and I'd say not as smooth either it's overall accurate um, works with multi-touch gestures it has click buttons over here and those are excellent they work very good are very easy to press and they're not noisy at all beneath here you're going to notice the status LEDs and they're not very powerful so they won't be uh, intrusive you're barely going to notice them but uh, one thing about the trackpad it doesn't really work that good with those multi-touch gestures for instance two finger scrolling it's going to be a little bit uh, laggier than I would uh, have expected okay now let's going to talk about the performances and uh, the, uh, let's run some HD content and some games in this next part of our video review first though let's have a quick look at the screen like I said it is a glossy screen and uh, thus you will have problems with it when using it in stronger light but also the viewing angles are rather poor as well especially the, the vertical viewing angles of course this is a TN panel but it's not a very good TN panel luckily there will be another screen option the full HD display uh, that comes with uh, a mate uh, panel and also increased color gamut reproduction so that screen is going to be way better but the cheaper version of the G55 will have this screen which uh, as you can see only comes with 1366 by 768 pixel resolution so it's not really the best screen out there all right now let's have a quick look at the hardware and I'm going to tell you that this is a very powerful machine got a, uh, got it's got the 7.3 uh, Windows Experience Index and that's because it comes with a quad-core Ivy Bridge uh, Core i7-3620QM uh, processor, 16GB of RAM, it also has dual uh, storage there's an SSD and a regular hard drive in there and of course the graphics are the new NVIDIA GTX 660M so that's built on uh, the Kepler uh, platform is going to be quite uh, quite powerful probably not as powerful as the 670 we had on uh, the G75 but uh, around there uh, for more details for the benchmarks you should go on the site on mikesquarter.com and we, we will have there some benchmark results I'm just going to spoil it for you here and I'm going to show you let me see what I'm going to show you yeah the 3d mark vantage performance score and it's P1100 11,000 actually so quite good performances out of this machine uh, now let's go ahead and see some videos yeah we have here a couple of videos and I'm going to show you the 1080p MKV on 40 bits per second. You can see that this one is running flawlessly. And of course Seeking is flawless as well. Of course this one has DXVA working and that's why it's working so good. Okay, now I'm also going to show you a couple of games. Alright, the first game I'm going to show you here is Call of Duty uh, Black Ops. We have everything set towards maximum, but uh, once again the resolution is only 1366 by 768 pixels on this one. Uh, V-Sync is off and all the other things are set towards maximum. And let's see. You see that we have plenty of frames. So the game is working flawlessly, but uh, I was actually expecting this. Considering that this is only 1366 by 768 pixels for resolution. So it's not the highest out there.
Okay, so that was Black Ops. You can see that it's running flawlessly and it will also work on 3D as well on this resolution. The next game I'm going to show you is Crisis 2. Once again, we're running on 1366 by 768 with hardcore details set on. So you can see that I have about I have plenty of frames here, I have about 30, 40, which is actually quite good. And this means that the game will be able to run as well in 3D mode. So, that's actually quite good, the game is playable. Okay, so that was Crisis. I'm not going to show you any other games in this video review, but if you want to see how this one will deal with some other titles, you should go on the site on mysquarter.com and uh, see there uh, the results I've got uh, while running various other games. One thing I should also show you, this one has some issues with the speakers. The speakers are small, they're integrated on top of the of the device and uh, they interfere with uh, the frame of the laptop. Thus uh, there are a lot of uh, resonance issues and uh, all these kinds of sound artifacts, uh, especially if you're running something a bit louder. Uh, like uh, a game or something like this, you will hear sometimes uh, all these bangs and packs and cracks and uh, that's not really something you would want from a gaming laptop now there might be an issue with my unit here because this is a pre-release sample so i'm not going to say that all these devices will have this issue just be careful better uh, check uh, in advance if uh, this uh, this sound problem is present on other devices as well all right we're back and uh, now i'm going to sh tell you a couple of things about uh, temperatures and about battery life first of all the temperature well you can see from this uh, pic uh, that uh, i have uh, over here that uh, this one will not get very very hot but uh, it's still it's still going to get hotter than the previous generation uh, G54 did so uh, daily average use uh, temperatures won't get above 55 60 but if you're going to push this one the processor and the graphics will get to 75 maybe up to 80 degrees celsius so it will run a bit hotter than some of the other gaming laptops out there uh, of course uh, this means that this part will get also hot while all these other areas of the of the front face of the laptop will remain pretty much uh, cool so you won't have an issue with uh, with temperatures uh, on the other side uh, the device gets a bit noisier when playing games but the speakers will be able to cover all this uh, all this noise so once again that shouldn't be an issue now in terms of battery life we have here uh, 74 watt hour battery as you saw 8 cell uh, battery and that's uh, going to be enough for about two and a half hours of life during daily average use uh, that can stretch to three hours three hours and a little bit if you're just going to use it very very lightly or uh, shrink to about to one hour for gaming on uh, high performance mode selected so this is not really a portable device it, uh, it's not meant to provide the life uh, battery life while on the road but still two and a half hours of average uh, battery life i'd say that's actually quite uh, quite decent 
One final thing we should talk about are prices. And this laptop, it looks like uh, it's going to start at about 1300 uh, US dollars over there in the United States. And for that, you're going to get, of course, the Core i7 3610QM processor. You're going to get 8 GB of RAM, just a standard 7200 uh, RPM hard drive. And uh, you're also getting the NVIDIA GeForce uh, GTX 660M graphics. So basically all the all the goodies except for the ssd and the extra amount of, of memory that we have on this version one more thing it looks like in the us you're going to have the full hd 1920 by 1080 pixels uh, display with a made finish so not this one however in europe we should have this version the asus g55 ix uh, not really sure if you can see that over there so it should be the asus g55 uh, vw ix 060 v which will bring uh, the same uh, 1366 by 768 pixels uh, glare 3d screen that we have on this version looks like it will go for about 1700 euros which is a lot of money but probably will be a bit cheaper i'd say by the time it gets in stores it will be cheaper because right now i'm not really sure if any of these sites actually have the device in store uh, theoretically it should be uh, it should be available in some stores and more will bring it a bit later all right this pretty much wraps up our video review for the asus g55 all in all, this is a powerful gaming machine, able to run the latest titles at ease, even on high details, and of course able to cope with uh, pretty much all the software you're going to throw at it. It's not the fastest laptop out there, but it is a little bit more portable, coming in a 15.6 inch body, unlike some of the other uh, laptops that come with 17 or 18 inch uh, screens, and they are more massive and bulkier. If you have any other questions about the G55, don't forget to post them below uh, and uh, I'll uh, of course answer as soon as possible. That's it for, for now. Uh, subscribe if you like uh, what we're doing here in order to stay in touch with my latest clips. Until next time.